Hi, it's Jill with Kirkflex. I'm doing another scrapbook page layout. And uh, this one is going to be out of this world. And then little creatures. Little like mini monsters or creatures. This one actually looks like Mike Wazowski. But it isn't. Um, this kit comes with the wording. All of this will have a good picture um, so you can see what it is. It's out of this world and it's all been glittered. And then this little mini monster guy. And then the one that I said looks like Mike Wazowski. And then there's one that's a like cupcake. And then, oops, there's one that's on this little red guy. I don't know what they look like, but. Um, and then this little orange one. And then I did these stars in a tag and glittered the bottom of them. I'm going to put these two together, but I glittered just this piece. I think I might throw a button on that one. Oh, here's the W for world. And then I got a couple borders here that look like banners. What I'm going to do with them, I don't know. And there's another star. And I'm using red paper as my mat, my photo mat paper. Then I've got this eight inch square of the green and yellow. Oh, green and yellow. white polka dot. Oh man, and then these two are going to be my background pages. And this one isn't going to have a whole bunch of other stuff going on. Don't always have to do that. Um, I like to, guys, I pulled my back out. I got a back brace on, but oh my word, I, and my back is just killing me going up and down the stairs. And my mother, God bless her, she keeps telling me, you know, to to not do anything. And um, uh, I can't do that. It's just, it's it's too hard for me. I can't just sit. So I haven't been just sitting. But when she's around, if I drop something, which I frequently do, she has to bend down and pick it up. And I guess I would say I drop quite frequently. Um, so I thought I'd better come up here and I just can't just let him do nothing. It make it makes me insane. These are pictures of some pictures of Jenna and her five month tummy. Should be illegal to look like that when you're no six months. She's six months. She's due the first week of April so we've got but very much yeah she's six months. And no one should look like that when they're that pregnant. And then a picture of my mother. I'm trying really hard to, on these pages, include, have my mother on all of them. Um, in each of the kids' books. And, and trying to put as many of her as I can in the pictures. And so far it's working pretty good. I cannot believe she's been living with me now. Um, it's been over a year now. Unbelievable how fast the time goes. I am going to put a little bit wider border on this because I'm not using a whole lot of other things. I don't even know why I picked the colors I did. I don't know. I don't know. Um, somebody asked me if we were going to be getting the snow. can't remember who it was because I'm, I was so anxious to have a white Christmas. Well, Christmas is in three days, four days, whatever. And still no snow and you need the snow building up to Christmas not afterwards so anything after Monday any snows after Monday I don't care and it looks like we're not we're not going to have a white Christmas guys and I know there's a lot of you out there thinking I'm crazy for wanting snow but I grew up in Wisconsin. I've lived and raised a family in the, the tundra, frozen tundra here. Uh, my, my husband, it's really funny, is because he's from Venezuela. And um, he came to school here 
I like to tell everybody I'm his degree. I was what he was studying. Um, and having to move back here after we moved away, for a while there, I felt really bad because we left and, and you know, when you, when you start having kids and stuff, you want to plant yourself somewhere. Well, I know where I wanted to plant myself. That was in the States. So we did so, and for a while there, it was a little bit of an adjustment for me, thinking what I pulled him away from a really good job to come here with no job. So it was tough, and not only no job, but winters. <laughs> and I don't know what he was thinking to follow me here, but he did it, and 50 years later, however, right now, both of us are incredibly thankful for our decision. I would like to say mutual decision, but I would be lying if I were to say this was not... I cut it off way too wide, guys. I can't, I can't bend over with the brace around my back, so it's kind of hard. Oh, man. Let me go this way because I can't see it that way. And apparently I can't see it this way either. Um, again, I can't believe Christmas is in just a few days. And I've got a ton left to wrap, which is not a good thing. Since my back is hurting, the last thing I want to do is sit slumped over a table wrapping, dropping everything. Yeah. Um, I'm going to put you on hold a minute because my mother's calling me. Okay, guys, I'm back. It was my mother yelling at me because she could hear me downstairs and wanted to know if I was getting up and down. I tell you what. Yeah, so she heard me moving and wanted to chew me out. So she's used to caring for people rather than being cared, cared for. So I think she's feeling helpful here. Um, and guys, I'm not saying that in a bad way at all. At all. I just, she gets herself all worked up. And she doesn't need to. I won't do anything that's going to hurt myself. I know my limitations. Except I've got bruises on every square inch of skin that I have. I told my husband, I keep hitting the bench at the end of our bed because I hit the corner when I'm walking around. And so I've been telling him to please take that bench and paint it, chalk paint it white so it stands out more and I don't run into it. Because we never, but anyway, he kept saying it isn't because of the bench, it's just because I'm plus. But he did finally say he would paint it because he saw the bruises and could see the lumps from my hitting my thigh on that, on that bench. And I love the bench. I don't get rid of that because it stores all my spare sheets and, and bedding, whatever. So I don't want to get rid of it. I just, I want it, <laughs> I want it more noticeable. I want it to glow in the dark. Or sing when I get near it so I don't hit it. And I think painting was probably what we decided would be the easiest. So, he is painting now. I don't know if he's going to be painting on that bench, but he is painting. So, oh boy. Come up for breath here. And I don't know how badly you guys wanted to watch me trim, but you will watch me, and I'm sure you're enjoying the dangling of my bracelets on the cutter. This cutter, though, I will tell you, I absolutely love it. It is called the Cutter Pillar Crop. If you go on Google and do a Google search of Cutter Pillar Crop, um, exactly how it sounds, this is the one that's got the light on it, which makes it easier for you to see through your paper to cut. 
and it's got the ruler here for measuring and it's battery pack it's on here like I said someone I think it was you Carol that said you know somebody that broke it by picking it up like this I which I kind of find a little odd because this thing I don't know I think you would have to drop it to break it but I am not saying it didn't break because it very well may have um, oh and to give you a little bit of a heads up I we started a new shop on YouTube and um, I'm going to be opening a new YouTube channel and on the new YouTube channel I will be I'm not going to be doing this sort of thing. It's going to be more showing in product and things that we're doing. Um, I'm not going to... Uh, the new shop, there, I will not be giving away any secrets. So it's not going to be something that you could you could get an idea from it, like Pinterest, but you're not going to get instructions on it. Um, it's just simply going to be showing and then... Well, only for certain things. Let me rephrase that. Let me back up a lot. In the new shop that we're going to open, we um, will be showing, you know, all the stuff that we're doing that's different. And there also will be a lot of stuff that we've already done. I'm going to transition some of them over. Um, I'll let you know more details when I do it. But as I said in the last video, uh, the name of the new pay, uh, Facebook is uh, Simply Silhouettes. I think the pain in my back is making me dumber than I usually am. I gotta grab some glitter here, guys. I forgot. When I'm scrapbooking, I throw my little glitter holders in this box because I, I always run out of room for things. So, I'm going to stick some glitter on this. It just looks like it needs it to me. So I am going to put some diamond on the white. I'm a glitter freak. What can I say? Uh, there was something else. Oh, yesterday, I think it was yesterday, I uploaded a video and I was referring, saying, oh, I don't, I'm going to check and see if my lights or my camera was flickering when I used this desk lamp and it wasn't. I went and looked at it and sure enough, it wasn't. So I went on to tell everybody how it wasn't flickering. Excuse me, but I'm gonna have to drop, grab a cough drop because my mouth is so dry, I can't, I can't talk. Oh my word, I'm sorry about that, but my meds kicked in and, okay, there we go. Anyway, I said, on the, I said on the film, oh, guys, it worked, you know. With that light turned off, the flickering had stopped. Then I stopped the film for something because I got sidetracked. Or I, I don't know what I did. I had to stop for a reason and start up again. But I turned this light on and started filming. And next thing I know, I looked at the film and it's flickering uh, from that light. I turned it on and left it on when I filmed the second, I don't know. But I did notice that you guys and anybody that was watching that video thinking I was out of my mind because I insisted there was no more flickering, I did realize there was the second half because I didn't shut that light off. Actually, I'm going to put that light on for a minute here just to make sure it's this light and it's not the overhead light. You know what I might try and do, what I should try and do, is put the over light, overhead light off and see if I get the flicker. Maybe the two of them are meeting. Okay, I'm, gonna shut, I'm gonna shut the other one off. I'm just gonna do this as a test, guys, to see if I can get rid of the flickering that I'm always having troubles with. I'm just gonna do this part. I'm gonna shut off and see if it's flickering. And we'll go from there. I shouldn't do the whole thing. I shouldn't film the whole thing. Um I'm not going to. I'm going to stop it and then I'm going to restart it just so I can see how it looks with just this light on. Oh, it's flickering. I can see it flickering a lot. Okay, this light's going back on and 
There goes my foot, kicking it all the way over there, and the flickering has stopped. So, we're going to go with that. I'm a klutz because I keep kicking my tripod here. It's not flickering there. So, we're going to go with that. Okay. I have no idea where I'm going to put this thing. I guess I could put it just right in the middle. You know, I don't want everything that I do to be exactly the same. But, I don't know. I'm crazy. Oh, I know what I'm going to do. I know what I'm going to do. I just thought of something. I'm trying to bring all the colors in that are in the, on these little guys here. I'm going to grab one of my wonderful Martha Stewart um, punches. That's what I'm going to do. And I'm going to use this one. This one here. And Martha Stewart punches, people want to know where you can get them. They do not carry them at Michael's anymore. I don't know where they do because I don't know if, they, if she was going to stop making them. If they're you know, just going to be discontinued, period. Or if you can get them online, I don't know. I think you still get them at um, HSN. Oh. Now I'm going to add, I'm going to do some of these. So I can bring that green into the other page. Let me move these. Just put the paper in that. Nicely done. Oh, ho, 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 ho. I'm, I'm sitting here filming only because I want to get these things done. And it's not any harder for me to do filming than it is not filming. But filming and compla complaining about my back probably is a little silly, but it is what it is. Like I've never said that before, have I guys? Just a second here. getting blistering in my mouth from having gone to the dentist yesterday. I think the burning mouth syndrome has caused me to have a strange reaction to Novocaine. Because the last four times I've been with some work that he's been doing that's ultimately because of my burning mouth. Um, really hard on my mouth. I'm whining and complaining, guys. I need an audience to complain to. And when we went out with my when I went out with my brother and sister-in-law to take my dad out for his birthday over the weekend, um, I spent two hours at the table venting. I had some things that I needed to vent about. Not because I expected anybody to do anything but about it, but just because I, I needed to vent. I talk about some, but anyway, talk mainly to my father. And um, afterwards I thought, oh my God, I can't believe I just spent two hours bending their ear. So I kept trying to call him to, to tell him I'm sorry. It was his birthday party, and, and you put a quarter in me, and there's no shutting me up. But... Like he said, you do what you have to do to keep your sanity with my full plate. My niece this summer was at one of our picnics at my daughter's house and said that she had moved her grandmother in with her. She, she, her and her mother bought the house together because my niece is not married. And... So the two of them bought a house together, and this summer they moved their grandma with them. And afterwards, my um, niece was saying she did not realize. So why should have talked to me? Because I could tell you, you know, the commitment. It's really hard. 
but her grandmother, after she moved in, she went downhill very, very, very rapidly. She is 91, and when she moved in, she was doing fine, but there's numerous things that were wrong with her, and she was getting where her mind, she just, she didn't know what was going on. And needing the type of care that somebody from, from a nursing home or hospice should be doing. So hospice was coming in every week. And, you know, it, like I keep telling my mom, I prefer that she be home with, with her loved ones and family and, you know, and uh, anyway, my her granny, they, she passed away this morning. And I said, man, that's such a blessing to be able to to be with your family at home. You know, it sounds terrible, but at least now she's she's at peace. And I have to believe everybody that I know is in heaven. But anyway, I don't know why I had to tell about that, but watching them go through that and helping them to understand just how difficult it is. They were, my other niece that lives in New York had flown in to, to be here to see her before she passed away and thankfully she got in it, it last night and, and she passed away this morning. So, I'm using the zip dry glue here on this thing. And does this have a thing in it? No. Why is it not coming out? Oh my words. I have more trouble with glues, guys. It's just like they just like they go nuts when they know I'm gonna use them. Maybe they're feeling unappreciated. I can't <laughs> just drop the clip on the floor and I can't bend over to get it. Does not have a hole in it already? Guys, anybody used this before? I could have sworn it had a hole in it. There's no hole in there. There is now. Whether they're supposed to be or not. I just made a hole. Now I probably made the hole too big. This glue I absolutely love. But it's another one of those glues that dries up, I think, pretty fast. It's a quick drying glue. There's no hole in there or anything, and I still can't get it to come out. Come on, seriously. It won't come out. Oh, my gosh. You see the paper. It's not. <laughs> oh, man. If you can't laugh at yourself, guys, you're in serious trouble. You've got to be able to. It's the only thing that keeps us going. There was a thing in the end here. I was looking for it on the end of the cap, and it wasn't. Uh, not on the end of the cap. The end of the bottle was on the end of the cap. So guys, there. Now, if any of you buy this zip glue, remember, remember me. You'll think of me when you use zip dry. And you're going to think of the nut. Couldn't figure out how to open the glue. This stuff dries quickly, clear. It doesn't bubble, isn't gooey. If it goes off a little bit, it's actually my favorite, but I just don't use it that often because it's one of the most expensive, I think. And I was putting that up there. You guys almost let me, too. I didn't hear anyone yelling, not there. You can move the piece around once you set it down. And when anything that, that rolls over, you know, gets off of the piece, it can just be rubbed off your page. It's awesome, awesome, awesome glue. It almost looks like a circus, doesn't it? Oh well, I'm gonna work on this one here. So I don't know what I'm doing, but again, it's called Zip Dry, awesome glue. And this is what you should be doing every time you use it, is put your cap on it, because it does dry up quickly, very quickly. And I like it a lot, but I wish it didn't dry quite so quick. So I've just added a few pieces that will come with the pack, this packet. I 
don't know until I do them what I'm going to do. Sweat and bullets. I think there's only going to be two on this one. And I threw that one aside because the last cut on it was kind of off. Yeah, when this glue dries, again, anything that, that goes off of your paper, you can see it, but it just rubs. It's awesome because it just rubs off. It doesn't so easy to remove. Love it. I love the smell, too. I'm a glue sniffer, I guess, because this stuff really smells good. So if I get more giddy, you'll know it's from the glue. Glue hoo. And I did the other one up here, so I suppose I better do that one the same. You see there's a little bit here. I'm going to let it dry. I'm going to show you. It just rubs off. And I'm going to have to start saying on most of my videos, I get asked where to get the paper, where to get the printer, where to get this, where to get that, again and again, because I know that I have a lot of videos and a lot of information. But I'm going to tell you, um, Hobby Lobby, Michaels, and Joanne Fabric is about all I ever use. So that will 99% of the time, I think, other than for the equipment, the um, technical stuff, that's where my things come from. And they always have really good sales. As far as, as far as like, like paper embellishments and things like that, of whatever I need, I do get at those stores. In like Crocodile and this, no, I didn't get that at one of those stores. I think I, I don't remember if I bought that online or not. I may have. I may have bought that online. Probably did. Um, but if you're a crafter, here in the States anyway, you will be familiar with all the stores I just mentioned. And if you're just getting into crafting and want to do something and you saw an item that I was using, uh, I would almost guarantee yeah, you're going to need a whole lot more than that if you're going to start some of these hobbies. It's buyer beware. Suck you into a uh, uh, vortex here because scrapbooking is the most addicting thing I have <laughs> ever done in my life. And one of the most expensive hobbies. Because once you become a crafter or get into pretty much any kind of craft, it's you got to have everything. If something comes up that you want to do, and oh, you need something new. Pinterest is wow for finding ideas and seeing things on there. There's so many talented people out there. Just so many, it's unbelievable. I am a small fish in a big sea, because I have been looking at videos lately, and I am nothing but a tadpole. And I don't mean that putting me down. Somebody told me not to put myself down, and I appreciate that. I didn't mean that to put myself down, but meaning I am just a grandma that enjoys talking to you guys. So, that's what I do. And you can see how I'm laying this out. And again, I've stressed numerous times is um, doesn't look like a circus. See that that those little pieces of of um, this is a a gum like a like an eraser and it's actually used to remove glues. Um, anything that you get on your paper it works awesome when you get things you can get these in any of the craft stores. Same craft stores that I mentioned they, they have these and if you don't have those craft stores in your area or you don't like to go out like I don't, they have all of it at online, I mean, not at, online. Scrapbookpals.com <clears throat> is one of my favorite online for uh, supplies for clip art 
Etsy's becoming Magic Makers is one. Etsy. Um, Etsy actually has some really, really good clip art. I've been getting a lot from there lately. I think because I have every one of Scrapbook. Oh, not Scrapbook, Magic Makers Scraps. Oh, and Divine Digital Diva. Divine Digital Diva is where I, I, I buy a lot of her files. <clears throat> Hers are the little prince and princesses, and I love her shop. I love her images. Now, I told everybody the next big project is going to be the one that we're working on for Charlie's birthday, and it will have a lot of new and really, really cute things that I really, I mean, I'm super, super excited. I wish, I wish it wasn't Christmas so we could do it now because it is going to be really, really, really cute. Um, but that should be probably between next week, I would say, after Christmas is over. Everybody just kind of hangs low and tries to recover from Christmas before New Year's hits them. And at my age, New Year's is just a day that people try and get me to stay up later than I want to. And, guys, I am covering with stickles in the blue and in the white diamonds I'm using and blue bayou I am using for the navy part here. And again it was the Martha Stewart punch that I used to make this border. The little page that I put in the middle, this green here, was just, it said, I, I always say is I just like to add I almost laid that right on top of that one. Man, I just sometimes don't even pay attention. But paying attention now, when it's too late, where do I put this thing? Oh. Okay. I don't think I can cross my, I can't think I can cross my legs. I shouldn't be doing this. I really shouldn't, my back is probably going to make me pay for it. But as soon as I'm done with this and get it loaded, I am going to go lay down and pray to God that by tomorrow I'm fine. I'm going to do mommy pregnant mommy. Now she would have been I'm trying to think how far along. Grandma's hit I don't know. I don't know how far along she is here, guys. And she didn't, oh, she didn't write it on the picture because she didn't print me the pictures. I did. I got tired of asking them, so I just went in and printed what I wanted. Okay, I'm going to use that one and that one with Lane. I'm not going to overdo these. These are going to be lightly done. Um, typically, on a 12 by 12 paper, I will typically do three pa pictures per page, two to three at the most. Sometimes if it's like a five by seven or an eight by ten, I will only do one. Um, but I do not like to put, like you would in a photo album, I just, I don't like to put a ton of photos in them. I just don't. But um, two or three per page, so it's it would be four to six per layout. And I think that's a good good number, good round number. I'm going to stick to that story. Here we have Great Grandma. Again, I had mentioned I was trying to include her as much as I could for my kids, or my grandkids, I should say, so they can remember the days with Great Grandma. And Lane had a really good time staying with her while we went to Minneapolis. And she had an equally good time staying at camp. It's all about making memories, guys. As they say in my favorite show of um, Once Upon a Time, 
it life is made up of moments and I love to capture them I did find though why some of my pictures were blurry I did figure it out and it isn't because I'm smart it's because it didn't even dawn on me when I printed them out when I picked the pictures to print out at Walgreens and I had the ones of, of Lane in the dog's kennel um, and they were blurry and I was so disappointed because they were blurry but I realized the reason that they were blurry was because um, I had cropped the pictures before I uploaded them onto Facebook and when you crop your pictures and then print them out they're like zoomed in they don't they're gonna they print clip they print they don't print out good because the original picture was further away I don't know how to explain it and I'm not gonna try to I'm gonna try and cut this off without messing up my glitter and yes I know I could have done it with the scissors but I like playing with my new exacto knife so there it is okay there we go now I am going to spruce them up I am not feeling very good Okay, out of this world. And I need my little tweezers. First of all, I'm going to figure out where I want it. Out. Well, guys, I don't know how messed up this is. I heard my camera go off. But I don't know. I think I heard it go off. And I stood up and sure enough it was off. But I don't know how much, how long ago. But I'm happy to say you don't have to worry about me starting all over again. I'm not going to put anybody through that, including myself. I'm looking for buttons, so I'm standing right in front there. Okay, because I am going to put some buttons on that, and I need a different glue for that. I need this glue for that, not this glue. And I'm going to put some little guys around here. I'm actually starting to feel sick, guys. So one thing I can promise, for those of you that don't like me, no worries, I'm not doing any more tonight. And those that do like me, I extend my sincerest apologies, but you won't be seeing me again tonight. And I'm sure that those that don't like me aren't viewing this anyway. But maybe there's some that would like to not like me after they do see this today. What can I say? Probably pretty much anything. I say whatever comes to my mind. Unfortunately, not always received by everyone. Oh, gotta go to my grandsons. No, I have to take care of my grandson in the morning. That's what it is. Mommy volunteered at the school. So I've got my Blakey in the morning. But I have a feeling it's going to be Papa is going to have him in the morning. I'm going to put that little tag there. And I think I'm going to take this little gooly goo, put him there. need to do here is put a pop dot on it I guess. And a lot of pop dots for one little guy, isn't it? I got that glue on the end of my finger. Got it now. I'm telling you, I really like the smell of that stuff. Renting over here like a dying person. I should have not tried to do this, but I really wanted to get 
this one done so I can go on to the next. There's no rest, rest for the wicked, guys. Now, I'm going to do this one. I know. I'm going to take this guy that looks like Sully, and I'm going to put him right here in the middle of Papa and Lane, and then his little buddies, I'm going to pop dot in front of him. Maybe. I need to retake the pictures and how are the elements that are going to be on this because I've added some on. Let me put that one over here. Maybe that one's going to have to go here because I don't have room for it on the other one. So he's going to go over here. over here. Let me keep it over here. I'm going to run out the film again, guys. Stand him right up here. And if I don't use it, I lose it. So I'm going to go ahead and just put this one on here. And I'm going to squeeze it in between the ones that I glittered because I don't want to touch the glitter and it's not dry. And this is not going to touch them that aren't dry because it's pop dotted. So it is not going to touch anything that I have with wet glitter on it. There we go. Now I'm going to take and I've got this recollection box of buttons that are polka dot and some are solids. I absolutely love these things. I'm going to use a yellow one right there and I'm going to use a red one right there. Love these things. That's the one thing about Michaels is they always have a 50% or 40% off coupon and oh and mm, I get just, it's not going to stick with that. I need something that's stronger. You know what I'm going to use? I have this. Dries clear. Yep. I'm going to use this. It's got my steel stainless steel pin in it. This is what I really need is I need to go out and remember to get a stainless steel pin to put in my glue tips. I had a glue that I had throughout today or yesterday because it was <laughs> rusted so bad from the pin I put in it that I couldn't use it. And somebody said, use stainless steel. There we go, guys. I put the little button in it and I got this bad boy done. And I'll get this uploaded and I'm done for tonight, guys. I sure hope I feel better by tomorrow because Right now, I feel like death reheated. So, everyone, if I'm not back before Christmas, I want to wish everybody an absolutely fantabulous Merry, 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 Merry Christmas and a safe New Year's. I probably will be back by then, so you'll hear it more than once. But just in case I'm not, everybody have a good one. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.